Craig Gray here with the Peace Walker Project and I wanted to talk with you a little bit about how these tools can help you in your profession and in your life. I love this comic here. It says, except for the people, the hours, the work, the stress, and the pay, this is the best job that I've ever had. And I think a lot of us feel that way in our respective professions. And we have some really great tools for you to help you be more effective and successful in your job and, quite frankly, have a much happier, healthier life. Now, you might be wondering yourself, how can these tools that you're speaking of regarding conflict management and leadership really help me in what I do? You'll notice in this slide here, there's a lot of different professions that are represented. Everything from teachers and therapists to law enforcement personnel and security personnel. We have some medical professionals there and business people ranging from customer service representatives to managers to salespeople and um, entrepreneurs, business owners, and even mental health care professionals. Now, these people may seem like they, they have a much different perspective and substantially different jobs. However, the one common element that brings all of us together is the idea that we all work with other people. Relationships are really the essence of what we do for a living. And this program will help you to manage those relationships much more professionally, much more effectively, with a lot less stress and a lot more success. So no matter if you're a police officer or if you're a salesperson, uh, the tools that you will get will definitely help you with your job. Now you may be thinking, well, well what tools are you talking about? There's four main categories of tools that we cover. Ethical, emotional, verbal, and physical. Now, more than just a philosophical approach of, hey, these are cool tools and this is some of the stuff you need, we give you step-by-step -step processes to help you along each one of these items and why each one is so important and a very particular approach that gets you to your goals much more quickly, effectively, and under pressure, which is when we really need them. Now, aside from having the tools, what you need to, do, you need to know as well is knowing when to use the tools. So understanding who you're dealing with, how to handle the situation, and if possible, create an ally, not an enemy, is really what we're going for here. Because we see that there's really five essentials of conflict management. And why conflict management? The reason for that is your job is easy until there's some man or some conflict that needs to be managed. If you're a police officer, if you're a manager, if you're a salesperson, if you're a healthcare provider or a mental health care professional or a teacher, right? The, the rubber hits the road when people are not doing what they're supposed to be doing and you have to fix the problem. Otherwise, anybody could do our jobs, but um, the more effectively we can manage conflicts, the more effectively we can be at our job. So the five essentials of conflict management are this. Number one is to have a compass, understanding what True North is. What we use is Dr. Robert Humphrey's universal life value theory, and we get into a step-by-step -step approach on how he used this, this theory in the Cold War. He was a Cold War um, conflict resolutionist for the State Department for many years, and he helped many people get along much better in a environment that was um, sometimes cross-cultural. Uh, so he was very effective at, at developing a methodology that, that we can utilize today in our professions that will make dealing with conflict much more effect effective. Uh, the second essential here is being the eye of the storm. That is a step-by-step -step approach of how to stay calm and confident and control your emotions and have the right attitude while you're in a stressful situation. 
These are essential. If you can't control yourself and your own emotions, you won't be able to control the situation. The next thing is having a map. And maps tell us what to expect in ourselves and in others so we can understand if we are on step three of a five-step process, we don't get overly frustrated because we know if we keep working the system that we will get the results we're looking for. We also need tools. So that is a specific tactic and technique, a step-by-step -step approach for each of the four areas. A step-by-step -step approach for your ethical approach, a step-by-step -step process for your emotional state, a step-by-step -step process on how to verbally interact and communicate with people, and if needed, a step-by-step -step process of how to physically handle situations if it is necessary. And finally, the final essential for conflict management is reinforcement of these tools and of this act of uh, having this activated within the individual. So understanding how the activation process and the reactivation process works through your training is very important. So the goals of our program is to manage conflict more safely and effectively and when possible gain voluntary compliance, cooperation, collaboration, cohesion, and camaraderie to strive for most good least harm for everyone and to attempt to create allies rather than enemies. And we're going to do this through leading through inspiration. And I truly believe even if you're not a manager or um, commanding officer that we are all leaders of our own lives and the lives of those that we are trying to help. So the more that we can do that, the better off that we'll be. Now, these things need to be activated, not just taught. Because you can go through all the materials on an intellectual basis, and without, the active, the, without these things being activated, you're never able to utilize them in the stressful situation that uh, would need the tools to help you work through the situation. So we have specific exercises for you to go through that will help you to activate this methodology so you can actually utilize it under pressure. Because the idea is that we are a professional. We treat people with professionalism not necessarily because they always have it, but because we always have it. And that is the basis of our approach and how it can affect and dramatically increase your effectiveness and your success in your career and in your life.